Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm looking pretty rough because I have absolutely no makeup on and I literally just got home from the gym. So this is what I look like after the gym, just in case you were wondering. Okay, what I thought a fun video would be would be to do my makeup the same way I did in high school because there is definitely a very drastic difference. As much as like I've learned since high school, I thought it would be fun to show you guys how much of a hot mess I really was. So let's get started. I didn't know what color correctors were. I barely knew what primer was. I think I used primer like maybe twice, like in the beginning of high school and then maybe like around my senior year is when I started using like maybe a green color corrector and primer but it was nothing like, I, I still had like no idea what I was doing. It, it did not look as good as I thought it did. But um, anyway, like I said, I didn't know what primer was. So I literally would just smack on my foundation. And I know for a fact that almost 80, 90% of the time, my foundation was way too dark. And I was just like, at the time I was just obsessed with being tan. I just wanted to be tan because obviously I'm naturally very fair. I can tan if I wanted to, but you know, the sun is not really that good for you. So I don't do that anymore. I have two foundations here with me right now. And uh, I have the one I use when I get a spray tan and then my color right now. I think what I'm gonna do is like mix these two together and it'll still obviously be way darker than what my complexion really is. So let's go ahead and do that. I was in high school from 2010 to 2014 and I'm, I don't think I knew what a beauty blender was in high school. Maybe like at the end of my senior year I did, but no, I don't exactly remember when I started using a beauty blender. I only used like a flat brush or even like half the time my hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this brush and uh, just do what I did, what I used to do. Just all over. Oh wow, it's way too dark. I think every now and then I would blend my foundation down my neck but for some reason I thought sometimes it wasn't necessary and I I just did not blend that anywhere else besides my face so I'm pretty sure I just like took my finger and like blended it and like softened everything up with my hands <laughs> don't ask me why I just thought I always even would say like I Think I thought blending with my fingers was better, but now you would never really, you would never catch me putting on foundation with my hands ever. I seriously wish I could just go back in time and like talk to myself and be like, girl, no, what are you doing? Do this, do this instead. Ugh. And then I I did set my foundation at, la at least, like I didn't just leave like, you know, this, dewy foundation on my face. Um, but I did use like powder that would like also darken my foundation like way too much. The closest thing I have to like a regular powder that will uh, to set my face that will like kind of darken it the way my regular stuff did in high school is this um, Airspun loose face powder. And this is actually really good setting powder. We're just gonna use it the wrong way right now. I didn't use any fluffy brushes. I would use um, I prefer these little uh, powder puff things, but not even like a powder puff, it's like a really flat one. And I would use that to set my foundation. Just go ahead, set it. And I don't, actually, I don't even think I dabbed. I think I like would wipe it. I don't know why I did that. I just thought it would make, I thought wiping it made my face look smoother but it actually just smeared around this super uneven foundation. This just feels not good. You can't even tell that much with the light that this foundation is like way too dark for me right now. It's probably because I'm still kind of like pink from the gym, <laughs> but, but it's okay. So after I poorly set my foundation, um, I would go to my brows. I'd do my brows 
I did, I kind of went in the same order that I do now, which is kind of cool. I used a pencil and I, my eyebrows, as skinny as they are now, they were super skinny and I would draw my tail like way too long. And I, I just double checked and I don't have any brow pencils, but so I'm going just to use um, my uh, 350 palette. I'm gonna draw them as much alike as I did in high school as I can. I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty close to what it looked like. I mean, that's not too bad. It's just super thin. And I, I think my eyebrows were a, a lot more angular, like with the arch. But uh, obviously, they're not tweezed the same way. So I don't think I can achieve the exact same look as I used to. But, oh my gosh, I can't. After that... I would move to eyeshadow. My eyeshadow was very dark. It was all, I always had like either black or silver gray eyeshadow. Like it was just, uh, it was just, that's all I wanted to do. Uh, and I did not know what blending was either. So this should be really, really, really interesting. Um, here we go. I, I honestly don't even want to do it. This is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we're not blending here. We're just going straight in with this black eyeshadow. And I don't even think I used a brush half the time. I think it was my finger. So maybe I should maybe I should be using my finger. <laughs> Why, Devin? Why? Okay, I don't even know how I pulled this off. I'm just gonna use the brush. Now, it's not like I would use black for like my everyday school look. It was more of like, I don't actually, I don't know. It was so, I was so random. It's just whatever I was feeling that day, I did. Sometimes I use like browns and like kind of rosy colors and more natural looking colors. Just, Definitely not as often. Like, I didn't care about blending out the top. I only cared about blending the colors on my, like, lids together. I'm gonna use this white, because I liked the bright. And just use my finger to put that on there. This is not okay, guys. And I, I, and I'm pretty sure my mom and I, even some of my friends, my good friends, told me like, Devin, and why do you always want to do something so dark? They would like try to subtly tell me that it looked horrible, and I would just be like, No, I like it this way. I think it looks good. And I did love, love, love an inner corner highlight, even though I didn't know what highlight was in high school, but I did love putting something bright. I used my fingers for everything, so everything was kind of literally looks like it was just splattered on my face. All right, so after I had my eyeshadow on, I moved to eyeliner, and <laughs> wow, did I love eyeliner. I, my cat wings, or my cat eyes, cat wings, I think I said cat wing in my last video, and I don't even know what a cat wing is. Um, <laughs> my cat eyes, or my wings, were huge and they went all the way literally under my eye and let me just show you and by the way I am showing you the most dramatic look that I did I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find a picture of this so my eyeliner kind of went something like I drew it like this when I first started doing eyeliner like my wings looked normal and I did a cute like barely little swoop and then just the more into makeup I got, I got more adventurous and more like, like ooh, trying new things and my wings just got like completely out of control. And I didn't even bring it all the way in, I only kept it on the outer corner. My wings were not perfect, they were always kind of rounded at the end because 
I wanted to be different and they were actually a lot more rounded than this but I'm, I'm not even gonna attempt to do that right now because that is just a mess. And I think this is like the exact eye like liquid eyeliner that I liked to use in high school. I used this Maybelline um, line stiletto. I, th I use the lash stiletto too all the time but um, honestly I, this is not my favorite eyeliner because like I notice when you go over it a few times it kind of rubs off and it, it gets kind of sheer and you can see you know your skin underneath the black and you nobody nobody wants that this was it this is what I like to use just because I, I just thought the box was cool or something I don't even know so after I have my crazy wings on I went in and decked out my waterline with even more black let's just pile this on and after that mascara and I just piled on the mascara like I did everything else just go ham super generous I was definitely obsessed with the smoky look and I couldn't even pull off the smoke part of it. This is comical. All right, and when it came to lashes, I would wear the biggest, fluffiest lashes I could find. Lashes have always been my favorite thing. You know, it's even like a dream of mine to one day own my own lash line. It would be crazy, but like, with lashes, I was, that was the one thing I wanted to stick out more than anything. And the ones I used specifically were these Ardell lashes and the Double Up 203s. They're the most, one of the most full ones that Ardell has, but they're sometimes the most uneven. And it was just, it was just like, pfft, like big old feathers on my eyes, like all the time. So I'm just gonna grab the thickest pair that I have right at, right now and just use that instead. I, I actually did use a pair of 203s not too long ago for a video with Corey, I think, and like, but obviously I, I know how to cut them and put them on differently now, so. It looked better, but not then. I still use the same eyelash glue that I used back then and it's the Duo Dark Tone Adhesive. I just, I just didn't like the white and the blue. I just thought, because I would put so much, you could see the glue. So obviously the dark tone was my go-to because it looked like like eyeliner. So I'm waiting on that. Well, let's move to um, my bronzer and blush. And like I said, I did not know what highlight was in high school. At least I don't, I don't remember if I did. Obviously, it, if I don't remember, then it must have not been that important to me, even if I did use it. So we're just not gonna use it for the sake of it. And I actually have the same brush I've been using since high school. This one I stole from my mom. It is a bare minerals brush, and I don't even think it's meant to be a contour brush. It's called, it's got, uh, it says Handy Buki on it, right there. But I don't think they make this brush anymore, because I went to the bare minerals store to get new ones of the other ones that I have, and I couldn't find this one. So, I just will never get rid of this. Just I'm just gonna keep taking care of it and because this is just my favorite contour brush. And my contour was definitely always way too dark, way too orange, just like my foundation was. And we're just gonna put that on there like this. I had no technique. I literally just took that brush and rolled like I drove it into my freaking cheekbones. And I did bring it on my forehead because I like the way it made me look tan. So I had this sh I had this stuff literally all over my face. And I don't think I used like any contour powders. It was definitely just bronzers that had that like golden shimmering tint in it and just that nobody really uses anymore because they're not, they don't do the same thing. We're getting somewhere. We're starting to look like 15 year old Devin. Okay, and blush. I did like blush. I've always been a fan of blush. I think it brings so much color to your face. I don't think I ever went too overboard with the blush, I but I did apply it a little differently. I took my blush right over like literally the top of my cheek and on the apples of my cheeks because I was obsessed, you know, with being tan and being in the sun. Um, I love the sun-kissed look, being sunburned, being, I was always on the beach, so 
I brought it over my nose like this, but it wasn't even like subtle. Wow, I haven't seen this Devin in so long. And I'm and I'm glad. Alright, so let's pop on these lashes. These aren't even these are nowhere near as big as the ones those are dull ones that I would use. And I don't even think I would cut them to fit my eye, like, because my eyeliner went out so far, you couldn't tell that it was too long for my eyelashes. I've obviously, I feel, I feel like I've definitely came a long way. And please excuse this lighting, it's really, really bringing out the bags under my eyes, and I, and, it, and plus I don't think it helps that it's like 1.30 in the morning and I was just at the gym, so they're probably looking a little more tired than, than normal. <laughs> this was my look, after that I was done, I didn't, really wear any lip gloss, and if I did, it was like something like super light. I looked like something off of Jersey Shore. I think that's what my inspiration was from. Honestly, I just throw on some chapstick, or even just like leave like my pow the foundation powder on my lips. This was my look, and I was out the door. There you have it. This is how I did my makeup in high school. Definitely not all through high school, but this was, this was the major part of it. Very cakey, very uneven, and very dramatic. <laughs> I'm glad I've learned a lot since then. Um, but yeah, I've, you know, everybody starts somewhere and obviously I felt pretty and I can see why I liked it a lot. And I can see what I was definitely going for. Uh, I thought this would be like a fun little interesting video to do um, before we really start kicking it off with all the Halloween tutorials. Um, or any other videos that I might randomly decide to do, like this one. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got a good kick out of this video. I hope you thought it was interesting to see like how I used to do it compared to how I do it now. If you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn my post notifications on. Yeah, that's, this is it. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.